Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a really interesting hover effect for a specific style of image called a poster image in Squarespace. What we're going to do is create an effect so that poster image will flip on a hover to reveal text over a solid color on the other side. You can also have a button enabled on this image as well. We're going to do this by using some custom CSS to create this hover effect on a poster image in Squarespace. Now this demo, I am doing this in my 7.1 Squarespace website, but it also works for Squarespace 7. The code's going to be exactly the same, and the code I'm using is listed in the description below, but I'd love to walk you through it step by step so you know what parts you're going to want to update so it looks great on your own website. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site, and I'm going to scroll down here. You'll see I have two different images of Gus the Pineapple. One has a button and one doesn't. I'm going to hop into edit mode really quick to show you these are poster images. If I click on the edit option here, you can see under design, these are the poster image type. That way we have the text over the image, and that's a really important part of this. Okay, I'll go ahead and select done. And what we're going to do now is navigate to our custom CSS to install this code right here. So I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we're going to paste the code. So right off the bat, this first line right here, I'm just going to copy it and paste it into my CSS window. All this is doing is saying transition one second. What that does is slows down that hover transition on its way back. So that's an important part to add. So it's not going to suddenly go away as soon as someone moves their cursor. Okay. So after that, we have design layer layout poster hover. This is basically saying anytime someone hovers the cursor over a poster image, then this is going to happen. The image itself, IMG, is going to rotate 180 degrees and it's going to take a one second transition. So let's copy this and paste this next line and let's take a look at what that looks like here. When I hover over it, you'll see the image is flipping. Now that's pretty cool, but we're not done yet. We still have more to do here. The next thing we're going to do is have that image card wrapper do the same thing, but I want to set its opacity to zero and also give it that one second transition. Now, why am I setting it to zero? I'll show you. If we copy and paste this line here, that is going to get rid of the text and we can't see it anymore. That way we'll be able to set that opacity back to one in our next line. So down here, you'll see this one looks very similar to that second line we used. It says design layout poster hover. So when someone hovers over that poster image, take the image card wrapper, make sure it's visible. Its opacity goes back to one. Transform it back to zero. That's going to create that alternate flip. And then we're giving it a background color. And again, that transition is going to take one second. So I'm going to copy this line here, paste it in my code, and scroll back up and now check it out. When we hover over that image, we're getting the transition of the flip of the image, the flip of that background color, and the flip of the text for both options here. Pretty cool, right? Now, what can we change on this? We can change some fun things like the rotation. If you want it to flip end over end instead of side to side, change that Y to rotate X. Now check it out. We're going to be flipping back and forth there. Pretty cool, right? Another thing we can change, of course, is this background color. I'm using the shade of teal for my brand, but I can just say the word purple if I want to. If you want it to be purple, there you go. You can also use a different hex color code, RGB, RGBA, HSL, HSLA, whatever kind of color you want to go with. Another thing we can do is change the transition duration. Let's say we want it to take a little bit longer. I'll adjust these 1S for one second up to two, and now, it's going to take about two seconds to give us that full rotation there. Pretty interesting. All right. So again, this code is listed in the description beneath the video here. I want to mention one more time, this is specifically for poster image types because that way we're going to have that text right on top of the image. Oh, I guess before I hop out of this, I'll go ahead and show you. If I'm in edit mode here, I'll still be able to edit the content of that poster image even after putting that code in there. So don't worry about not being able to change your title or description or button afterward. All of those features are still going to be in there and still editable after you install that code. Okay. 
Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. As always, the codes are below and definitely play around with that background color so it suits your site style and uh, explore the different transition options there. Instead of rotate Y, try rotate X, change the second timing for the transition to last two or three seconds, whatever you're most comfortable with. But the most important thing you need to do is have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.